एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो टूडे आल बी डूइंग द स्मोकी आई लुक नाउ लेट्स बिगिन द वीडियो सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी मॉइस्चराइज माई फेस नाउ आई एल बी अप्लाइंग एन वाई एक्स एंजल वेल प्राइमा इट इज अ प्राइमा बेस्ड फॉर ऑयली स्किन टाइप्स इट गिवज अ मैट फिनिश एंड इट हेल्प्स द मेकअप टू बी लॉन्ग लास्टिंग So once after applying this primer on my face I'll be moving on to color correcting my face using LA Girl orange corrector I'll be focusing this product only on the areas where I have dark circles pigmentation around my mouth basically where I have uneven skin tone and discoloration on my face So once after blending this I'll be applying a foundation. So for foundation I'll be using Nykaa Skin Shield Anti Pollution Foundation because I want my makeup to be as natural as my skin tone. I doesn't want it to be very matte or either it to be dewy. I want it to be as natural as possible. So for that I'll be using that foundation because that gives you a very natural finish and it gives a satin finish. It doesn't makes your skin very oily or it doesn't makes your skin very cakey. And it is easy to apply. It is easy to blend as well. I have dotted this foundation all over my face. I'll be using a brush to blend this foundation. because i want a medium to buildable coverage for that i'll be using the brush don't forget your neck also because you, you don't want your foundation to look too different skin tones in your neck and face blend it properly so that it gives a flawless seamless look After that I didn't covered my under eye area using the foundation so for that I am using the same foundation on those areas For this I'll be using the damp beauty sponge to blend my foundation bring the foundation on your eyelids also so that you don't need to apply a eye shadow base separately once after blending everything into one place i'll be using a concealer which is tad bit lighter to my skin tone this one is from wet and wild photo focus concealer in the shade medium tawny i'll be applying this on the areas where i want to highlight my face As I am going for a heavy eyes, I want my under eyes to be very bright. So for that I am highlighting my under eyes area. blending the foundation i'm taking another beauty sponge to blend out everything seamlessly so once after blending my foundation in a damp beauty sponge i'm moving on to setting my face using rimmel london stay matte pressed compact powder in shade caramel for this i'm using a fluffy powder brush to set my entire face
always don't forget your neck also because it doesn't look cakey so once after this i'm moving on to defining my eyebrows for this i'll be using eyebrow pencil today because the eyebrow pencil always gives you a natural look as always i am defining my eyebrow lines that is mapping my outer lines of my eyebrows and then filling it in the sparse areas i did a mistake here because i deposited a lot of product in the front of my eyebrows to minimize that intensity i'm just using the same compact powder and then using the back of my brush i'm just applying on the front section so that it looks as natural as possible so for any smoky eyes you always need a base i'm using pack long lasting cold pencil in shade dark brown as my base for the smoky eye i'm just randomly scribbling on the eyelids anyway i'm going to smudge that so i'm just randomly scribbling that So once after smudging this I'm just packing the black eyeshadow which is very pigmented you can use a black cold pencil also but I'm using a brown cold pencil after this I'm just packing the dark black eyeshadow on the base where I have applied the brown cold pencil I'm just packing that and blending on the harsh lines After this I'm using a burnt orange shade as my transition shade. I'm using a James Charles and Morphe collaborated palette. I'm just packing the product and just blending in the windshield wiper motion. I'm just using a flat fluffy brush to blend this eyeshadow. I'm just taking the product as I as possible because I want my eyes to be very bright. I'm repeating the same steps for the other eye. After this, I'm just smoking out my lower lash line also. For this, I'm taking the same black eye shadow on the lower water line below my lower water line. I'm using a flat brush for this. Once after that, I'm taking a dark brown shade from the same palette. I'm just blending the black eye shadow using this eye shadow After this I'm tight lining my upper and lower waterline using the black cold pencil So I'm just prepping my eyelashes for fixing the false lashes. So for that I'm just curling my entire lashes using a eyelash curler. After that I'm just applying the mascara. After this with a clean fluffy blending brush I'm just blending everything. I'm just blending my eyeshadow to look seamless and it blended out look. So for contouring I'm using the same ABH contour palette. I'm applying the highlighter from Nykaa Glow Getter Highlighter in shade Glitterity 02. For this look always go with a very natural subtle base because you want your eyes to pop out. So keep your base as minimal as possible. I mean as subtle as possible. I'm just applying on the usual areas where the light hits my face. For lipstick, I'm just giving you guys a two options. So, first option is you can go for either a pinky nude lips from Maybelline Creamy Mattes in shade Touch of Spice. 
After this, the second lip option is a glossy nude lips. Here I am applying the Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipstick in shade Nude Nuance. After that, I am just lining my lips using a cherry brown lip liner from Hilary Roda. For gloss, I am using, I am just dotting that gloss on the center of my lips so that my lips look very juicy and plumpy. After this, I am setting my entire face using a setting spray from Make Makeup Revolution Glow Fixing Illuminating Fixing Spray. So that's it guys. This is the final makeup look we have done. Don't forget your lash line on the waterline. I am also applying the mascara on the lower waterline also. So this is the completed makeup look. If you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and that's it bye bye